one. All right, welcome. If this makes it the last, sorry about that last one. I just made it. Sorry about that last video. That was unwatchable. So this is what the airport looks like. We are in Labrador City, out in the great northern Canadian northern expanse. We're gonna fly further north because we're just not far enough. Where are you at, Matt? Anyway, can you see me? Let's see. I don't see your plane yet. Nope. I uh, spawn. I I started at spot thirty-five. I thought I did. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, we're probably in the same spot. <laughs> I'll find that out in a second. All right, checklist. Joe, checklist me. Is before starting engine. Five. Let's see if I can get that. Parking brake. Check. Set. All avionics. I'm gonna listen to the weather for you here. Okay. Off. For you. Doing Fuel for selector. You. Thank you for that. I was gonna ask you. Fullest about. tank. Battery and alternator switches. Oh, I got it. We get weather. Nice. Good. Oh, battery. And I'm sorry. I'm waiting for you, Joe, and you're waiting for me. Battery alternator switches on. on. That is this before starting engine. We're good. Let it run up a little bit there. 1,600 overcast. Yeah, we're gonna have to fly through that. Mixture. Mixture full rich. Rich. Prop RPM lever. Landing and departing runway 18. Max, Max RPM. RPM. <coughs> Throttle. <coughs> Excuse me, Joe. Full. Fuel boost pump. Until peak and then OFF, right? Yeah. Until full OFF. peaks, then OFF. Throttle. Bring it back to half an inch. Open half an inch. Magneto one, slash two, nine, start switch. One, two. We got a little bit of wind. We're going to be taking off runway 18. All right. To the south. Clear. Start position, mm. then both. Throttle. 1,000 to 1,200 RPM. Oil pressure. Check. All right, 1,000 to 1,200. Let's drop that back just a little bit more. <coughs> there we are, okay. After starting the engine, we got one more little list to go. Go, Joe. Avionics master switch. Let's get it on. On. Damn, I still don't see your Lights. plane unless, unless you're on top of I me. I think I'm in your spot, required. Yeah. yeah, let me, you know, I'm actually going to move a little bit and see if Check right. off. You show Parking up. Parking brake. Release. All right, we got our pre-flight done. I'm going to turn on Joe's avionics. Are. I just drove up through the uh, drove through the line. There you go. There. Yep, you just pulled away from me. Okay. <laughs> ah. yep, I see you now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Charlie Yankee, West Kilo okay. Airport information, Lake One Seven Zero Zero Zero. Wind one two niner at one two. Visibility niner. Sky condition ceiling one thousand six hundred feet overcast. I guess we never cleared that. To one two. Feet here. All right, I have yep. Mike. Charlie Inc. Sure do. Uh, gonna announce the C. Ta announce taxi. Yeah. Charlie Yankee Whiskey Kilo Traffic Beechcraft One Five Two Four Charlie Delta is taxiing to runway One Eight. All right, Joe. Let's boogie, brother. <coughs> We're up. Uh, we got a lot of flying to do. Oops. Yeah. Can't be hanging around. Thanks, guy. That's just too bad we don't hear where, each where other on the old comment. Go for where what? Hold on a second here. What, what direction um, am I heading? I got out of that little parking lot you're in and I hung a hard right to head south. Oh man, am I going oh, the I wrong see. way right no, now? No, you're oh, going yeah. right. I got my I got my cheat on here, so. No, you know what? We should go. All right, I'm going 180 on the thing. I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. You are? Yeah, I got a turn. I got a 180 here. Okay. I made a boo boo. 183.
Six. Hold on a second. I'm coming up to the runway here. Hold on. Whoa. Uh oh. Yeah, you're going more the right way than I am. Wait a second. I got locked up. Hey, how are you going in reverse? That was interesting. Oh. This thing's locked up. That's how it happened. Okay, 180. I'm sure that'll. Sorry about that glitch. <laughs> Am I at 180? Am I holding it short at 18? No. Yeah, you're pretty much there. Looks like it. No, because I I had to turn right. Oh, is it? Am I at the head of yeah. the runway? Uh, you're close to it. Oh, so I'm gonna take off first. Yeah, I think this is enough runway. All right, hold on a second here. Let me get my altitude. We're gonna go up to. We're gonna go straight up to 7,000, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's get that. We're gonna dial All right, that I'm in here. I'm behind you. Right, hold on, I'm setting my setting my uh, my thing. You know, my thing. The mm. the cheat the cheatometer. <laughs> get climb. Yeah. Climb at 700 feet per minute. Go heading to altitude. I'm turn on vertical speed heading. And ready to go. Okay, good call in the tower here. Um, I think they have a tower. Oh yeah, it's not calling the tower, so I'm gonna just announce roommate depart to the south. Is that what I'm doing? You're gonna announce your roommate? Uh, yeah, departing to the south. Okay, sorry about that. Let me depart just... south, but <coughs> you know. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight. Charlie Yankee Whiskey Kilo traffic one five two four Charlie Delta taking off runway one eight south departure. Alright, no one else is coming. HSI, make sure you are 180 in fact. Yeah, it is. It is 120, so you're going to have a little bit of wound. Alright, I'll give it right rudder. Here Hold on, Joey. Are you out of here? Whoa, that really wants He's to pull out of left. Here. He is out of here. I'm outbound. Glitch. Hey, make sure you're rich. Fuel pump's on. Okay, okay, let's see. Alright, I'm level. out of here now, too. Stupid. All right, let's go. Alt altitude. Don't sink. No, Don't what's sink. going on with my stuff here? Vertical speed. Come on. Five hundred feet. I want seven hundred feet. It's coming up. Stupid. Twenty-two hundred feet. Turn on course, there, John. Okay, here we are. I've got like. Turn on course. All right. Yeah, 2200. I gotta turn all go. the way around though, right? Yeah. Yeah, you bet. Turning to about uh, 010. Zero, zero. All right. I'm ahead of you there. Yeah, you're turning inside of me? Yep. Good for you. And I'm getting close to about to be going into the collapse. Jeez. Thirty-two hundred. Forty-two hundred. There's the uh, there's Labrador City, or whatever that. That's actually Labrador City, right? Labrador City. See a damn thing. Yeah. On the other side of the river. I'm in the clouds, John. I'm turn my taxi light off. Uh, there we are. I should turn my beacon on, right? Yep. Okay, I'm on course. <laughs> More to the left. Right? Yeah, 
it probably. Oh, it's getting brighter out again. This cloud layer is going to run out pretty soon up here. All I'm right. at 5,000 feet and the sky is blue above me. There's the airport. You should see. So the on the map, Matt had to set it up. There's the airport. Matt had to set it up. There's no, like, airport node. There's a runway out there. We're going to fly for almost two hours. Yeah, there's, what's it called? Our city. You half of a runway. And we stayed at the Northern Inn and Suites. <laughs> oh, dude, wait till you get up here at uh, 5,700 feet. There's some cool-looking clouds up here. Some thunderstorm clouds. Very cool. And there's some cool clouds up here. It's pretty, man, it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. It's All right. volcanic, er volcanic eruption. <clears throat> Cloud layer. Yeah, so we would started. Oh, let me go to nav now. Okay, I'm just accepting the line. So far, I'm getting a, a decent ground speed. Very nice. Once. So, Matt and I were saying before this within a month, I'm going to have the funds for a. A GTX or an R thirty sixty. Right now, I've got the uh, the, R the GTX nine seventy. So I think when I was looking at the comparisons, I didn't say this to you, Matt, but when I compared like the the performance of the nine seventy and some other stuff, what what am I? Okay, doing well. Fifty three hundred. I'm slowing pretty quick. Should I? What do you do if I'm I'm slowing to 137 knots, 136? We're just doing the climb. Yeah, we're that's the, fine. Your your V is uh, 100 knots, so you know your best rate of climb is at 100 knots. Okay. So if you really want to gain altitude as quickly as possible, pull up, pull up till the nose hits 100. So anyway, I'm gonna get this new 3060. I got a I got a 970 with four gigs of VRAM, and I'm gonna get a 3060 with 12 gigs of VRAM. And I think the performance suggested it's going to be it's gonna perform about double of my. So it'll be able yeah. to handle about twice as much as my current card. Yeah, to run, nice. uh, you know, one I, I know, like medium graphic settings. Now I should be able to run high, that's smooth, and broadcast. So that'll be nice. So one month from now, if we get to Scotland, I should be able to yeah. go external. Seven thousand feet. Do I lean it out and stuff? Yep. I'll, I'll tell you what to lean it to right now. I'm working on that right now. Oh, okay. One five. Starting to level off. This is now we're yeah we're just about over the cloud. We're like at the, the top edge of the cloud layer. I don't see you ahead of me. Yeah, oh, I do. I I sort of see you. Yeah, you're. Okay. You're ahead of me, down to my left a little bit. You're actually pretty close. What do you have for your uh, distance? 300. 
Ooh, 300 I, miles. Wow. I got 301. Yeah. So I'm literally I'm actually 300.8. So yeah. Yeah, I'm a nautical mile behind you. I, you. I mean, I see your lights, and there's separation between them. Yeah. So I'm close enough to, you know, almost basically see your fuselage. So this would be, this would be nice. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess ETE, an hour and 40 minutes. So what do you want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for best power right now, best power mixture. So let's go to uh, right. do this. Go to ready for this I'm ready for it go to 18.9 inches I mean uh, gallons per hour it's not far up it's not leaning much from where you're already at 18.9 18 18 okay yeah or 19 you know same thing well I'm pulling it way you have to pull it way back before it starts to register yeah wait I got 15 16, 17. Yeah, go up to about 19. I'm leaning it. Then. Yeah, so what was it at? Full ridge. Off? That's funny. Full ridge at 16.3. Really? So and I pull back, it goes up to 17.5. Would you put your fuel pump on? No. Well, you know what? I should turn my fuel pump off. That's a, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, a, I'm, a ni I'm 19. Yeah, I can get as high as 17.6, and then I keep pulling it back, 17.7. Rich, you can't get up to 19? No. Oh, what's, well, what's your, what's your throttle at, though? Oh, throttle's at uh, 25, 2,500 RPM. How are you, get, how are you getting 25 uh, inches? You want me to go full throttle? Yeah, you got to go full throttle. 22.6, okay. Yeah, now you're correct. You're, oh, yes. yeah. Now I'm, yeah, now I'm 18.8, yeah. So I'm at full throttle, 2,500 RPM. Okay, yeah, me too. I got 18.8. Yeah. Should I go 18 point? Nope, that's good. I'm at 19, 18.9. So. so that should be best power mixture. We're using a lot of gas, but it's best power. Okay. Yeah, I can't get 18.9, I get 18.8. Um, and I should still see you. Some, I'm in a clear area right now. Like I can see the ground, and I can see the blue sky, and I got towering clouds all around me. But and I, you're, you're at some, right? Yep. 68, 68, 80 right now, actually. Oh. Like a pro. Hey, only 291 miles to go. Yeah. 291 miles. Beer on the wall. And you know what? Then we're really getting into desolation up here. Up, oh up gosh, here, yeah. you know, who knows what this strip we're landing at is even going to look like. I'm yeah. afraid it might be literally half of a landing strip, like, <coughs> like the map. Oh, wow, yeah. We might have like, to do short field landing here. <laughs> no services available. Can't even buy any feet turkey. Can't buy any <laughs> That's, like, most important. Yeah. All right, so if I go, let's see, if I go out here... <coughs> Let's look at some of these camera angles. Okay. Oh, that's that puts me right there. I see you behind me. That gets me 37 I mean, degrees. Your lights. Should we? Uh, well, these are all. Well, I don't want those. This is all yeah, interior I'm, I'm stuff. Yeah, 37F. I'm reading 37F. O A T. What's your distance? How far are you I'm 288.0. Uh, 289.0. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm a nautical mile behind you. I don't see you. I see you. I see your lights, anyway. I should be straight ahead. Oh, I see you now. I see you now. Okay, barely. It's, you know, he's right here. But it's, you've got bright white lights and you got white clouds behind you, so. Yeah. Well, do I have my nav lights on? Uh, I do. Yep. Alright, so now I go here. And now if I go. Oh no, that doesn't do it. Okay. So, what about Alt? Oh boy, this is this is my dash cam. This looks out over my dashboard. What kind of ground speed are you doing? 
Oh, this one looks out over the wing. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going. I'm cycling through some camera views. How are you cycling through views? Uh, alt. Views. Um, I guess it's like alt through different stuff. It's my dashboard camera. But now if I do, okay, it goes back to here. Uh, well, you got to set up different angles, but I don't even know. Like I said, I don't. I don't Maybe it's this one. Uh, uh, there's there's other views that you can go to. I wonder. I'll do. I'll try it here. All right. Let's see. Down at the ground, does it look like uh, the terrain is getting a little more generic? Big, big maps is not all that detailed up here. Like. They uh, that's true. Yeah. Very, very geometrical. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a little. think is it difficult I mean don't they take over this area well uh, I think they're still using the satellite well maybe they're not I think they're using the satellite maybe they just didn't turn up the resolution in this part yeah when they took pictures I don't know okay one two Top down, okay. Yeah, look at that turn and now it's very too much symmetry. We're hauling. Damn it, I think I actually set my track by R and what I'm getting. Oh, that's a Object Reaction Runway Airport. Okay, so now if I go to Showcase. Holy shit. Fix Camera. Showcase ones. These are ones that are kind of cool. So, here's the tail camera. And then you got the, whoops. The wing camera. Yeah, this one is cool. I like this one. The GoPro on a wing. What are you doing to get those views all what? That's camera. I, I don't know what the, the hot keys are. But I'm the one looking for the, the camera views. Oh, there's an under the wing. This airport doesn't show up. Oh, you know what that might mean? 
the next few airports might not show up because we're in really remote who knows where I mean they might not be clickable you know oh uh, yeah we might have to just visually pick them and hopefully there's actually a airport there hold on here oh here we go okay. yeah, yeah the ground is looking really generic look at that yeah it does like right. it's uh <laughs> patches of forest are you know drawn in little squares geometric shapes yeah like in minecraft yeah it's procedurally generated <laughs> Ooh, look at this towering cloud straight ahead of me. Do you got that same one? It's like a big, uh... Well, I see a cloud that's sticking up a little. It's yeah, it's like a, uh... looks like a, uh, You know, the... What do you get The handle on a saddle? Yeah, yeah. Uh, saddle that's what horn. I call it. Yeah. <laughs> um... All right, let's... Oh, wow, it just changed shape when I just looked away. It's a shape shift. So what is... What is your... What's your indicated? What? 159. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah, 267 miles out. Um, oh, I uh, I never thought about like ATC, although we're not going to have anything out here, but I'll bring it up just in case. Center. Do I request flight following? Yeah, why not? Center. Montreal Center Beechcraft 1524 Charlie Del is tight Beechcraft 3649 miles from Charlie Rock. Yankee Whiskey Kilo 7000 feet. Request flight following. Beechcraft 1524 Charlie Delta Montreal Center. Squawk 4746. 4746 for Charlie Delta. 6 Squawk 4746 seven, seven. Beechcraft for Charlie Delta. Beechcraft 4 Charlie Delta radar contact 50 miles north of Charlie Delta. Yep. She gave me. So I'm actually a little little higher. Gotta go down a bit. Roger Beechcraft for Charlie Delta. So I picked up some speed with that little maneuver there. <laughs> One eighty six ground speed. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, where did I get that's what I was gonna look up? An hour twenty five to destination. Wonder, can we get a little extra speed by opening the, the cowl flap? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try right now and see what happens. Let's see, open up those cowl flaps. 37 degrees. I'm gonna put my pedo heat on. Because you never know. I'll pull my cap. I did not pick up any. Uh, I did not pick up any speed with the cowl flap. about this ground why is it why are we in minecraft land now yeah i don't know it's kind of disappointing what's it's gonna be like when we go over greenland it just looks like uh this looks like x-plane now oh i'm gonna switch uh switch fuel tanks oh are you i am there it is nice scrubs These are OR scrubs. Oh, are they? <laughs> anyway, it's entirely... Uh, what's it? What's it? Oh, it's completely inappropriate. Let's go. Right tank. Thank you very much. Fuel pump off. That's right. As he says, it's nice dress. Nice costume. These are OR scrubs. Oh, are they? Anyway, they're completely... Entirely inappropriate. <laughs> I wrote a hit play! <laughs> and I'm in love with you. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I wrote a hit play, what have you done? Yeah. <laughs> See the um, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, it was good. I don't think it was as good, but I, maybe I should see it again. 
I liked it a lot. I thought it was I thought it was good. I still like uh, Royal Tenham best. I don't know if I've seen that one. And I didn't think, I didn't like his newest movie at all. With French Dispatch. I didn't even hear about it. No, it was it was not good. I guess I didn't hear because it was that that bad. Talking about getting back on course, you know what I mean? Do it. Alright, so So from so after we get to this so this point that we're going to, let's see, let me take let me take a look at my We still got a little bit more of uh some some kind of uh Canada peninsula where we'll be all around the water now. We're kinda of getting we got one more short I think is gonna be kind of a short one. Okay. Shorter anyway. Where we get to kind of the northernmost part of that little peninsula that we're on there. Okay, yeah. And then we hop a little jump across the water to start turning towards Greenland. Yeah. Uh, so the next jump is going to be a bit of a short, and then the next one after that is going to be a medium-sized one. Okay. And then it's straight over to ice Greenland. That's going to be a long one. That's like a three-hour flight. Yeah, we got to do that on a weekend. Like a, sat like a Saturday night. Yeah, and that's a straight shot, too. That's just a... That's just a who's it what now. Yeah. Hey, uh, what kind of terrain? Well, I'm in some clouds. I can't actually see the ground right here. Uh, yeah. Looks like we're going over some lakes on my GPS map. Yeah. A lot of water. A lot of water around here. Yeah, it's just... It, there's as much water as land, you know? It seems... I guess, it's, yeah, I guess the glaciers just melted, and, <coughs> and there they are. Magnetic compass is erratic when property ice is on. Well, that's not good. Oh, yeah, okay, now we're coming out of the clouds. Yeah, Interesting I got some, I got some. coloration change, although I wonder, yeah. I wonder if some I of this... I think it's a Bing Maps thing. Oh, okay. Like a satellite took a picture on different days and it stitches them together. And yeah. One one area looks brown and then the next area is green or blue or something. Well, and I wonder would yeah. it, would it be any different if uh, well, if we if we were closer to it, like if we descended, would it would it change? I don't know. It didn't seem to be that way when we were you know on the other legs. Yeah. This looks super generic though. I mean, look at you look at the patch of coloring on the. Yeah. On the. Land parts. It's just it's Minecraft. Like, it's like um, was that a conquest in the new world? <laughs> yeah. There's a streak of silver over there. My brother-in-law would play that one if when that it goes game, on sale. Yeah, you know, you, it's not multiplayer anymore. You can still get that on Steam, but oh. you, there's no. You can, it's not multiplayer. Yeah, I guess. How would you do that? I mean, they would have to. Well, I guess it'd be easy to do it. I mean, if somebody spent the time, because we used to email our yeah, terms. Yeah, that, that was. chess. Yeah. You don't have to play real time. You can just take a turn and send a turn to the next person and they do it when they do it. Well, I'll never either. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> uh, we played the big long campaign and we were just we were, I don't know. Did I think, Todd playing that too or was it just you and I? I think Todd was playing it too. I can't recall. Uh -huh. We yeah. kind of agreed on like a border. Let's take out Todd. It, well, we agreed on some kind of a border, and it's like uh -huh. I think Todd was doing his own thing. I'm like, all right, uh, I'm fine. I don't have to worry. I'm gonna, you know, keep an eye on Todd or whatever. I got like, you uh -huh. know, Indians to the left and whatnot. And then with like four or five turns left in the campaign, you just come in and invade. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, why has Matt got this huge army at, at the mountains just to the north of me? Like, where's he going with that? And then you came in and you took one of my cities, and I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I was like, we were allies the whole time until five turns left, and you're like, I'm going for it. <laughs> I was totally, I totally caught my, I wasn't, I wasn't raising an army or anything. I'm just like, oh, it's, who's Matt going to war with? Me? Oh, shit, it's me. <laughs> Why didn't I see um. that coming? treacherous <laughs> bastard <laughs> I was talking with Todd about that not too long ago too and Todd was like man I would I would totally play that game again but I was 
researching it, there's no, there's just, it doesn't do multiplayer anymore. Yeah. That right. sucks, man, because that would be, that would be awesome. Yeah, it does. Well, shoot, how I mean, many, you could do, what, how many, what was the total, there were four countries, the Dutch, English, French, and, oh, no, I somebody there was could five. be the Indians, or? There's Dutch, French, English. Oh, um, English, yeah, yeah. Spanish. And then the Indians. I think so, yeah. Could, could you play the Indians, or the, were the Indians always AI? I don't remember. I thought I thought you could do it, but it was usually yeah, because the whole the whole premise was that you're discovering the land, right? Yeah, so then yeah. you already know it. So, yeah, it was all black mm -hmm. except for where you landed, and then you had to... But yeah. I love, like, naming the rivers and the mountain ranges and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to look into that again just for the hell of it, but I'm pretty sure I did already, and it was... Other people, other people were also complaining that there's no multiplayer element to it anymore. Yeah, it was, I bought my first for that game. <laughs> yeah, in fact, it didn't take much to run it. That, that well, game, right? No, but or computers were day, expensive. I was a 200. I think it was a 230 megahertz. Back, this is 19. This is like 1997. Uh -huh. I want to say. 233 megahertz, which was like nice, and I spent more money than I had. Like I think I took a loan, or something like that. I took, it, I didn't credit. It was like 2,200 dollars. Oh wow! So it was compared to computers now, man. That's crazy. I oh, you know it was my 1997 gaming PC <laughs> to play <laughs> Conquest can, of the New World. I can barely, I can barely run Conquest of the New World. <laughs> uh, I remember my first computer that I built, that I built was uh, 2000. It was like a Pentium 3 433 or something like that, yeah. I think. I, I remember the I remember the motherboard. It was an Asus uh, P3B4X was the motherboard. I, I remember looking for BIOS and the new upgrade. I gotta upgrade the, the BIOS and the firmware on this motherboard. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and Dude, now that would be awesome if we could play Conquest and get Toddy involved. <laughs> or get like for actual five people. That'd be awesome. Oh Four yeah. <laughs> and even if it was turn-based, that'd be perfect, too, because nobody has time to play real-time. Yeah, yeah. If it turn-based, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of other grand strategy games, but I don't think they're... Uh, like, like the Total War games are a lot of fun. I don't know if you've seen those at all, but... Do you have to play those real-time? Uh, you could do them real I played Campaign with a guy, just a Steam, like a Steam friend, someone who had... The game it was in a group and we started a campaign nice guy um and it was the shogun 2 so it was the japanese middle ages yeah and uh and we had a huge campaign going and we were i think we were allied and yeah you would go you would go i would no it was turn-based so i would we'd both be on at the same time i would play and move my units and stuff like that but when when the other guys, there's a lot you could do when the other person's moving their units. So it's not like it's not like you're just sitting there waiting for them. You could do your finances. You could yeah. um, <clears throat> you could do uh, what's it called uh, diplomacy. <clears throat> so you could you know you, yeah. could, you could build um, trade alliances stuff like that. Go over your finances. Uh, you just couldn't like raise army units or move your armies. Yeah. So it worked out yeah. really well. Is it like uh, that Total War game? Is it like Civilization? Kind of. I always, I always <coughs> wanted Civilization to be a cooler game than it is. Yeah. I wanted it to be kind of like a, a mix of... I wanted Civilization to be a mix of like SimCity and Conquest of the New World. Like something... Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But no, yeah, I get it. Yeah, Civilization almost was like a little too... <coughs> scripted on track like to I don't know arcadey but maybe not yeah. maybe because I haven't played that game in like 20 years Civilization so I don't even know what the newer versions are like well the the, the Total War ones like for example the Shogun 2 um, you know it's it's basically the different prefectures within Japan at the time and you're a, di a daimyo and uh, Montreal Center Airbus, oh, like Airbus. Delta, <coughs> Airbus. Um, please be talking to me November 
Oh, I'm going to check my, my, my thing. Little, okay. Nice little lake down there. <clears throat> um, yeah, so you're just, you're going to try and survive this. I mean, you've got certain victory conditions you could make to, to win, whether it's conquering a certain number of provinces, whether it's conquering certain provinces, um, and stuff like that. So you, you know, you make alliances with different groups, you break alliances, you'll, you know, make trade agreements to try and boost, you know, so it's mostly like a conquest kind of thing. But then when you get an army, it's, it's way freaking cool because you got, you know, thousands of units and you're, you know, you'll take a group and you'll, you'll line them in a certain formation in the woods and they'll be concealed. And then you could zoom way in and, you know, when some, you see them all slinging their, you know, their bows and stuff and the other guys yeah. are dropping and it's got persistent bodies. So, that mean? <clears throat> so, it, so as the soldiers fall, their bodies remain on the battlefield. So, uh, so you could see at a glance where the carnage was. You could see where the, you know where the the battle kind of pitched for twenty minutes and then turned. It's just gonna be like a heap of bodies and horses and stuff like that. Arrows stuck in the ground and everything. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, my plane is flying. Nicely. I mean, too. Actually, in Total War, um, <clears throat> Empire Total War was cool because it was. I mean, it was a little bit like that, but it was Europe mostly, and it, there was some in Americas. But yeah, that was like you know, 18th century, 1700s. You know, you the British, and they got naval battles and stuff. Yeah, you know, everyone's lining up across each other with muskets firing, and all the smoke on yeah. the battlefield. That was pretty fun. Dude, now I got. Mind. I want to play Conquest. Yeah. Well, I had it on. I love just even how low res and simple it is. Yeah. Well, the battles were like a was like a chessboard almost a little. Yeah. Now, did when there was a battle, that was all just random chance, right? Like you didn't actually control the battles, right? You, you just could, engaged in you, the battle, and the computer just no. You move did certain. It by how many you move certain groups into certain areas, and then there was yeah. kind of a dice roll effect. I think. Hey, you know, look out yeah. your window now. The terrain's a lot better. At the left. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. is yeah, a, a much, yeah. So we must. You know what? We must have just gone through a patch where the satellite just didn't bother to care. Yeah. Yeah, because this looks this looks believable. Yeah, this is better now. That's cool. In fact, oh, I'm looking at my elevator. I was gonna say if I look back far enough, would I see the Minecraft stuff back there? Oh yeah. Oh, there's some off the right. Off to the right, it's really. Pixel, you can see yeah. the border. Yeah. And then when you go up to the left. Oh, I wonder on the ground what it's like here. Are you just literally in the middle? Well, you are in the yeah. middle of nowhere, but is it like all these nice little islands and these lakes and rivers and stuff? Or is it just completely quiet and you just could get eaten by a bear at any moment? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's just thousands of miles of open grasslands and trees and stuff. I mean, like, why doesn't somebody live up here? Yeah. How come this isn't populated? Because I was thinking about, oh, I finished my bush trip through Alaska. I finished that little, that first bush trip uh -huh. in Alaska. And flying through Alaska on there, it's funny, like, this is a video game, but it almost yeah. felt like I was doing it in real life. Yeah. But, uh, flying through Alaska, too, there is so much unpopulated land just in Alaska. Yeah. There's a lot of land that people just aren't, aren't even inhabited at all. I know, yeah. If you're going to go live off the grid, that'd be... <laughs> you could disappear out there, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this... I mean, you know, like a normal day, like in real life, it feels like, dude, the world's too populated. There's too many people on this planet. Yeah. But then, like, areas like this, like, there's not a single person out here for, for hundreds of miles. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, ideally, you get somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Um, I mean, why, why isn't this populated? There's obviously water. There's you tons. There's obviously timber. <laughs> yeah. The you temperature was 37. I mean, it's probably 45 degrees down there. Oh, this is at night. I mean, actually, because we're doing real-time weather. Right. So. That's interesting. So, it's, this is, I don't know if this is central time zone or east. Yeah. Let's say it's east time zone. It's. 
you know, it's 1230. Yeah, I think we're east time zone. Yeah. Right, same as New York here. But we're just the Bahamas. That would be fun to fly over. Yeah, that would be cool. Do some island hopping in a little bush plane. Yeah, we said some. Yeah, at some point we'll go from like Fort Lauderdale to the Bahamas. Yeah. Get some chop up here. You getting some chop? I mean, we're kind of in and out of clock. Two hundred eight nautical miles. And I'm two oh six five. About an hour. Gonna be, it's gonna be. Is that what yours is? Is an hour? hour an, hour, an hour and seven minutes. Okay, that's what mine says too. Yeah, so it's gonna be 12 30 a.m. my time local. What does this mean over in the map down in the lower right corner? It says unres one. I don't know. Unres, let me see. Detail, detail three, detail two. Map options. You switched your Rain tanks, right? Topo. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm evening out my right tanks coming down, but I'll. I'll do that in a little bit. It's rain. Yeah. It's rain Me off. too. Topo. Legend. It's funny I got traffic on, but you don't show up at all. Yeah. I think I do too. Yeah. Yeah, you should be right ahead of me. Yeah. Let's see. <coughs> I guess they mean AI guys. traffic. Why? If I can turn it on and off on the. Oh, so I can. UTC, maybe it's timer rough. Maybe. No, that's the timer. Uh, how do I change the the time to local time? Let's see, it's got because it's got UTC. Um. I want it to be local. EFD display, auto, no, that's not what we want. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can on this, anyway. But see, that other little airport that I was talking about also, I don't think is at all showing up on the map. So let's see, let me see if we might have passed it by now. Uh, it's hard to tell where we're at. Looking at a map. Shefferville. No, I mean, we're, we're, probably, by a town? we're probably not halfway quite yet, right? No, we mustn't be halfway. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what time we took off, honestly. Coming in at 200 nautical miles right about now. We're 200 nautical miles out. <laughs> that should be about well, an hour and five minutes. Getting some chop what chop, man. What's your ground <laughs> speed? I'm doing 184. Um, you were doing 184. I'm doing 185. Ha. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna bump up to uh 25. I'm gonna go up to 2600 RPM and see if uh. I should. I should. What, what distance are you at? Uh, 196.9. Okay, I'm I'm about two miles behind you. I say I can't see you. But then again, it's the middle of the afternoon. Oh yeah, what time is your UTC down there? 17.52, roughly? Uh, 17.53, 14. Okay. Ooh, you're, uh, you're ahead of me in time. <laughs> it's a worm Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I bumped up prop to 2600, and I'm up to 180. Six knots now. 2600, really? Ooh, 187. I'm hauling ass. I don't want to be in the red. I'm just short of the red. I mean, we have such a low manifold pressure here that we're probably not driving the engine any more than 75% of its max. Ground speed 186? Yeah. That's where you're at, 186? Yeah. That's where I'm at. I still see your little lights back there. Twinkle toes. <laughs> little, little lights. 
I don't see yours. I mean, there's a cloud right in front of me, so it doesn't surprise me. I just went through a cloud. It's a way I feel to shake. It's a little bumpy. Don't want to lose. We are going to Northern Ass Canada. Yes, we are. We are already in North Ass Canada. <laughs> Let's see, how, how much north of Canada does it get? Oh, right. Canada goes up there, man. Is that even considered Canada? Way, way, way up there by the top of Greenland? I, it must be, right? Yeah, I mean, if it's not Greenland, Jeez, it's Canada. Canada owns all that? Canada's a big-ass country. This is a giant national park. Ellesmere Island. Like, like, how come nobody's living up there? Well, I guess they are. So It'd be interesting. To, yeah, to think about what percentage of the of the ground is actually populated. It's probably very very small. Now, but though when you look at a map, you know, flat map, <clears throat> it looks huge up there. But when you roll it around the globe, I mean, it's still not a small country. But yeah, dude, Canada's got a lot of land, man. Yeah. What the hell are they doing with it? It's like nothing. They're not doing anything with it in northern yeah. Quebec. <laughs> I know, right? Drill baby drill me ton of oil up here. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh boy. Wait, what the how does this work? You see yeah, the we Oh wait, where are we going? Wait, where's Greenland? Holy shit, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, I was in looking at a completely wrong part of the map. I'll say it's off your right wing. Looking at a place on the other side of the Hudson Bay, I was like, "Wait a second, we can't be there. We got a lot of Canada to cross." Davis Strait. Let's go and see. This body of land we're coming into is the Hud or the water is going to be the Hudson Strait. Our Hudson next leg. Okay. Gonna cross the Hudson Strait. Who lives up here, man? <laughs> There's a Baffin Island. That's where all the only penguins live. Yeah, no, it's all like Inuit territory. I'm, I'm looking down there now. I don't see, you know, I don't see any signs of life. I don't see any roads or buildings or anything. It's all. See a Circle K? Yeah. <laughs> parking, multi-story parking garage. That would be weird, you know, being this far out. A plane flies over, you'd be like, oh, hey, I wonder if I know that person. <laughs> Is it the mail? Yeah, this terrain looks, uh, this terrain looks a little more realistic down here right now. Yeah. 184 miles out here. This might be our leg. Oh, this, this know, might maybe be. That, yeah, or maybe maybe the one the other night was the longest, but this one's up there. But this one might be our long. I mean, our longest leg so far. I think we need to cross it. We need a long. Oh yeah, it even looks good on the right now. I'm checking an exterior view. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I got to the screenshot. So I'm surprised it's so flat out here. Well, I mean, again, we're at 7,000 feet, so... Yeah, I mean, straight ahead of us, there's some little hills, and it's like building. But still, yeah. no, I was expecting some, like, version of the Rockies to be out here, but... Yeah, not. yeah. I mean, I would, if I guessed that to see some of the tops of these hills below us, I mean, 400 feet of the water. Yeah. Hey, so, although Greenland's going to get pretty yeah. Um I wonder, I'm thinking, I mean, the plan right now is I'm thinking we fly into Duke. Okay. And then from Duke, we go, that's going to be another one too, going straight over the top of Greenland. Not over the top, but straight across Greenland. Mm. Over the mountains, rather than down and around the Horn. Yeah. I think we go straight <coughs> over the top if we right. serve it. Yeah, because I think we got, I think we got service ceiling to get over that. We'll just, yeah, we'll just cut straight across. It's going to, yeah. Ice and Glacier Mountains. I know, so, that'll be, yeah, it'll just be white. Yeah. That'll um, help your eyes. Maybe we do that at night. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking we might download the little Nuke Airport update off of uh, Flight Sim TO there just to get a little yeah. Nuke Airport. It, there it, was it, a green, there's a package, there's, there's one of them was available, it was a Greenland package, it was free, and I guess it's got a bunch of Greenland airports all done by oh. the same developer, but... And Nuke was one of them. Oh, that's but, cool. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I need them all, because then if I did them all, there was some sort of update, and at some point there'd be some weird... I, I downloaded, uh, 
yesterday I realized I didn't have it. I went to the content manager thing and I didn't have Italy and Australia, so I downloaded yeah. those. I well, I found Australia, but I thought I did Italy. I thought I did too, and it said yeah. I didn't have either one of those. So I, was like, oh, right. I thought I had these, but okay, let's get them. Yeah. So I got that'll be nice too. There's so realize, many places so my, to see. Yeah. My drive, my main, my main drive, my C drive is mm -hmm. one terabyte. And I'm half full right now with everything I got on it. Just for this? Just for this? No, for this oh. and X Plane and oh, okay. um, IL2 and yeah. PCS. <laughs> it's a and it's a solid state drive. Yeah. But things load real quick for you. Yeah, I got it because uh, I actually the ones I picked are the ones that Jay's Two Cents recommended. Oh yeah. He said he said go ahead get two of these crucial. D five drives. I think I think he said get two terabyte ones and I made the mistake and only got one terabyte ones oh. each. <laughs> you thought, you thought he meant two model. terabytes, but he meant two two terabytes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got the ones he recommended. He for whatever reason he recommended solid state drives for your operating system and your whatever gaming drive or whatever you oh, use okay. your other one for. Yeah I didn't know but, what uh, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I did a just brief looking online. Some people are like, you know, get you spinning drives for your game programs, or uh, I don't know. I, it was it was mixed opinions, so I don't know what the real yeah that's the best way to do it is. I'm gonna you know eventually I'm gonna do something like that. I do I do want a solid state, but uh, I don't know which it's better for, and I forgot. Yeah, but I, I like uh, what's that. I was going to say, whoever, I looked it up one time, and whoever it was said, oh yeah, use it for this, and I forgot what it was. Yeah, I think I think it's all over. I mean, I don't know, I think it's just an opinion. It's a, whoever's got a, the opinion of the day. Yeah, Maybe, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, I like the idea of solid-state drives, because I've had so many spinning drives fail on me from previous computers and stuff. Oh, really? Like, oh. Dude, I don't, oh yeah, I got like a, I got a stack of hard drives here on my shelf of just drives that just failed. Oh, I just, I just have one. But it was my back. It wasn't really the only backup, so I had a bunch of pictures on it. I had to get this software that could sort of read uh -huh. the stuff from it, you know. And <clears throat> it was not. It was. It didn't work. Yeah. Perfect. It did. Did that work? You said it worked no? a little bit. Look, look at the land off here to the left. It's like uh, that rocky reddish yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 Those were those little hills I was uh, eyeballing a couple miles ago. It's like the the glacier scraped off there. River, or some kind of river thing, at about 12, 1 o'clock. I don't, I don't see you. I know you're there. 54 minutes. 54 minutes. <laughs> um. I see you. <clears throat> what are we gonna say? I see you. Oh, solid state drives. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so I gotta get those as well. But right now, yeah, if I just get this. That should be a big boost. Look at how flat it is off to the right. I mean, it's almost just like a soccer field out there. Yeah. With a lot of lakes it's in it. a soccer field with water. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I really hope we can land at this airport. Me too. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm guessing it might look just like it looked on the map, where it's half airport and half Half, well, it, half runway, I mean. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, though, it's it's a flat surface. You know what I mean? And it's not just yeah. that they're not just rendering this land with that graphic on it. And it's, yeah. you know, on the side yeah. of the hill. We're going to find out here. See yeah. how much of a bush plane the Bonanza is. We're going to go a couple hours to realize we're going to crash. <laughs> Straight below me right now, you're not there yet, but there's some weird artifact on the on the land. It's like a valley looks like a heading. Like alien alien marking. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, I'm looking down. Looks like there's something down there. It's like a, a streak to a plane crash. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost that crash part. It's almost like a perfect plane. 
there. What would that be? Oh, you know what would be cool is, uh, oh man, we are flying over Iceland. I'm curious to see what Iceland is going to look like. Yeah. You know that one, you know, that beach with that crashed, uh, C-47? No, what's the that? South Coast, that famous, that famous plane, that U.S. Navy plane crash wreckage on the south coast of, uh, the Black Sand Beach, beach of Iceland. No. You see a lot of pictures. It's a pretty famous thing. I, I, I went there. I took a bunch of pictures of it. Well, I saw something with like a P-39 somewhere, and then uh, a, B, maybe it's a not, B-25 yeah. or was found in Iceland. In Iceland? So, yeah, so... Oh, yeah. <coughs> um, I wonder if it renders that, and no, I'm sure it won't render oh, you that. You thought it was C-47, you said? C-47, yeah. Okay. PC-3. Yeah. There we go, high res off the left. I assume that Northern Britain is going to be pretty well modeled out. Oh yeah, it's got to be. Hey, did you notice that all the flight sim videos you watch, or you know, like how to this? They're all British. This? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> British or Scottish? What is, what is that? I don't know. The, the big <laughs> aviation enthusiasts, yeah. Well, because I saw the the one I saw today was on the uh, <coughs> excuse me, the X Plane Twelve ATC. What was that? It was what? X Plane 12 ATC. Uh huh. And they were talking to the the lead the lead guy from the ATC design for it. And he was talking about how they're going to design it for X Plane 12 and what they're Beach working on. Charlie, Delta, oh, wait a second. Montreal, and hand it off. Good day. Okay, I'll One tree tree for Charlie Delta. Center 133.2. Montreal Over Center, big Beechcraft lake. 1524 Charlie Delta. Lake, big lake. lake. Beechcraft 1524 <laughs> Charlie Delta, Montreal Center, Altimeter 29 decimal 82. Continue to custom as planned. Continue to custa as planned. Yeah, custa. I don't know why. Uh, oh, is yeah, that custom? Oh, that must be. That must be what it is. It's calling our waypoint Custa, even though it's a custom. Yeah. Let me check the flight man, see what the flight man says. Oh yeah. Custa. Okay. It must have just given it the name Custa. Yeah. For fun. Colonel Mustard. So it was 315 nautical miles, and we're at 155. So we're so over there. More than halfway. Right? Yeah. Look at that. See, we're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> 182, 182 over the ground. Hey, used to, uh, what, what's your engine RPM? I'm doing 183. Uh, I'm at 20. Excuse me, 2600. Okay, I'm at 2600 also. Yeah, 22.6 on the manifold. Burning this engine up. No, see, you only need, see. Look at your CHT. Your CHT is well in the green, so the engine's yeah. fine. I got 19.5 uh, gallons per hour. Yeah, that's exactly what I got too. I'm gonna run oil my oil pressures in the green, oil temps in the green. I was going to uh, run my right tank right up to the yellow, to the 10 gallon mark, and then switch to my left. Oh, I'm going to switch mine right now, because I want to. Um, okay, I'm back on left tank now. <coughs> so, what were we talking about? Uh, uh, solid state drives? Maps? Hmm. Cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers, that was it. <laughs> uh, <coughs> crud. It was a solid state drive, I think. Whoa, I lost audio there. Um, is this club compartment work? No. Or was it, was it Greenland? Oh, Britain. Greenland. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 12. British people. And, uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it's quite Xbox, or Xbox, X-Plane 12. Um, so the guy said he was looking, um, you know, the various nodes of ATC, and he said they're trying make it a, a realistic kind of a flavor he said so so the the game understands you could be in many different states you know like one you're parked two you're taxiing yeah uh three you're you're waiting to line up you know and within each of those different windows there's you know multitude of different possible things you can request and off of those there's branching trees so he yeah. said some of them are even Cosmetic, like he said, you can ask them to say again. You know, uh -huh. and, uh, cool. yeah. yeah. So if you miss something, 
Um, he said, uh, you can ask, the, I forget what else. Yeah, bye. Yeah, there's a few things you can ask him where it was like, they'll give you an answer, but it really doesn't have anything to do with, you know, direction or, you know, or... It's just more, more for realism? Right, yeah. Or something. <clears throat> right. Um, then at IFR, you can ask him, you know, if you could, if you can climb to a different altitude or descend, stuff like that. Um, yeah. They said as far as the AI goes, they're, you know, they understand where all the other planes are in their states, so... You know, it should That's a huge job. Yeah. Where they said, you know, where the, it understands the distance between your aircraft. So um, they said right now this, the hardest thing is estimating because, you know, it'll say, you know, for an AI plane, it's traveling at this airspeed, it's going to travel at this airspeed, and it's going to be at this point. So you're clear to this. But they yeah. said with people sometimes. Five miles of separation. Yeah. So he said, sometimes, you know, he said in our testing things, we got a little closer than you would imagine. But for the most part, you know, if someone's cleared for final and you're in a little too close, they'll give you the go-around or something, you know, which is cool. Yeah, yeah the AI on <coughs> X-Plane 11 right now is not bad. It's not perfect, but yeah. it's a little, a little goofy. But you can actually create IFR flight plans waypoints and intersections and stuff and it'll vector you to all these spots it's 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 way more it's way more it's way smarter than this thing is yeah yeah so it's not bad as it is right now yeah it's not perfect but you could actually almost realistically fly ifr with real waypoints and nav points in x-plane 11 so if they improve that it's yeah pretty awesome he said they're they're the guy asked him if they're going to do anything about like emergencies and stuff he said well we he said we'd like to at some point but we haven't built it in yet because it's not part of the normal flying process he's like so they're trying to <clears throat> they're trying to you know get everything working that you that you would likely need to or want to do as you're flying normally you know yeah maybe I'm release it like as a dlc or something I'm amazed that X-Plane 11 right now, you know, it's got a fully working Garmin. You know, the Garmin's in there actually fully work. All the knobs do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. And you can, you can map them all to real buttons and stuff like I, like I have. But uh, I'm amazed that it actually has all the procedures, all departure procedures, arrival procedures, and everything in there. Like, that seems like a lot of work. Like, somebody actually put yeah. all those in there. Yeah. Real procedures in the a game. Massive database, yeah. Oh, he also said it's going to... Uh, they're going to include different. He said, "Now it is. It isn't. <coughs> it isn't a, always a real person's voice. You know, it is. <coughs> excuse me, like a computer-generated voice. But they are going to use different accents." He said, uh -huh. "So you'll, if you're flying over Britain, you're going to get a British accent talking to you. you know, if you're flying over India, you're going to get an Indian accent." He said, "Because you would expect yeah. that." Uh, you know, flying over Mexico, you'd get a Latin accent and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, that adds to the flavor. And then also different ways of doing things. So, so like in America, you would say, you know, 113.2, whereas you, would, if you're in Europe, you would say 113 decimal two zero. You know, and that would change by region as well. So yeah. it's Because he's talking with like airline pilots while he's developing this thing. Who was the guy's name? Do you remember? I don't remember. Is it Austin? Name. Austin Meyer? Uh, not sure. But um, I don't think so. But uh, the other what was the other thing. So I'm hoping eventually when that comes out, you know, they get shared cockpit, and we could, you know. Yeah. We could do. Well, IFR this one was supposed to have shared cockpit at some point, right? Yeah. Hopefully it does too. That'd be nice. I mean. Whichever one it was, where you know, I could be on the comms or something and set some of the you know, nav stuff, and I could be like a co pilot, you could be the pilot or whatever. <coughs> I could do the wow, landing I'm, gear on takeoff, you know. Yeah, I'm leaning, I'm actually leaning out the window on the left side of my plane, back in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a dirty, dirty window. And I'm oh, like yeah. Scratches all in it. <laughs> uh, feathers. Stick, stick my head out this little. Yeah, this little thing that you pop open. Right. Yeah, this one doesn't have a, the little latch on it to open that up. 
an X plane, you can actually open that and it gets you the cabin noise increases too. That's cool. Yeah, it, it's. I mean, when I tried last time, I tried VR on this again. It was kind of like, oh my, oh okay. Um, you know, it just looks so cool because you get that spatial, like this thing is just right off my right shoulder. You know. Yeah. Uh, and you can see the screws and everything, and you know the sort of the glinting off, but it's so choppy. So excited, oh, yeah. to, you know, to try that again with the, with the 3060. Yeah. Hey, you got some rough-looking kind of uh, hockey terrain right ahead of you. I don't know. I can't tell what it is quite, but it looks a little rough. Yeah, with the Badlands kind of stuff. I don't see your lights anymore. I mean. There's always clouds. What's your distance? Um, I'm in. I'm in open air. Are you? Are you in kind of in clouds? I mean, I see a lot of clouds between me, clouds. But I'm, clouds in I'm front. I'm definitely in an open space. Like I'm not even about to go into a, into a cloud anytime soon. I'm exactly at 130 nautical miles. Okay, I'm 128.3. Oh, okay, so you, yeah, you're just a couple miles ahead of me. So. Um, I still see you. When I look back, I still see your nav lights. These little little specks back there. Am I directly behind you, or am I offset a little? Uh, I don't know. It looks kind of like you're directly behind me. The view of the external view is off to an angle, so I can't tell for right. sure. Actually, let me go to a let me go to a better external view. You are you're to my you're to my seven o'clock a little bit. Oh, okay. Forty-two minutes. Okay, seven o'clock a little bit. I'm looking you for see, you. Uh, Oh, I'm so, I wonder uh, if we'll be able to see the uh, straight here sometime soon. The body of water and it's out in front of us. Not yet. It's oh, 25 miles away. <laughs> I think I saw you. Yeah, there he is. He's right here. <laughs> this airport's going to be interesting to see if there actually is an airport here. Yeah. Or if you're right, like it's just an airport. On, on rough terrain. Yeah, because you would think you would think they would make a node, you know, that you can. Yeah, it would be basically land, landing in <laughs> a rocky mountainside that just has an airport drawn on it. Right, right. A runway drawn on it. Well, that'll test. With how easy landings well, are in this, you probably do it. <laughs> What's that? With how easy the landings are in this, you probably just yeah. bounce off. Well, I was flying um, one of those bush planes when I first installed this game, and I was doing landings uphill on the side of mountains, oh, wow. pulling it off. But I mean, that's a that's a real thing. People do that in real life. Yeah. So how do you do that? Like, what do you got to do? Basically, you just you're you're angling. You just imagine you're coming in for a landing, but pointed upward, and you're you're so you're you know, you're flying up the side of a mountain. And, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you just got to control your speed and angle and all that stuff. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this is interesting terrain. Yeah, it looks like it was kind of half-assed satellite map. Yeah, that could be. It looks kind of shitty. It's all pixely and crappy. Yeah, because at first I thought maybe it was, uh, it was like, you know, like Badlands, kind of. Uh-huh. But... That's interesting that it's just that section. Like, satellite was uh, on the fritz that day or something? Yeah. For just that section? They only had one satellite over here, like in 1982. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a leopard like skin. these little print. bits of, like, wispy, like, foggy clouds that go by. Yeah. Yeah, you can, cool. you get the appreciation for the speed you're going as they whip past, kind of. Tell Joe to wake up. <laughs> yeah, Joe, he's been quiet this whole time. Joe, make me a sandwich. He's the worst, the worst co-pilot. He's just there for the pre-flight checklist, and then he's going fish. <laughs> he's, ooh, we're getting some bounce. He's, he's, he's not the whole time. This is a 14 year old. Rough weather over this glitch land. I'm not getting any weather. I'm getting, I'm getting chop, I'm getting bounce. Chop. Oh boy, I'm going down. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, 
for nothing. <clears throat> Pardon. Oh, my fuel is dead even. Well, we're going to find out in 38 minutes. If we're able to land here? Well, yeah. if, it's, if, if not, we'll have to look for a road. Yeah. I don't know and how we'll, easy it's going to be to find a road up here. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Are there any roads anywhere around us here? Road? I don't see anything. No. I don't see a single road. No. There's not a human within an hour of us. Right. By plane. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, right like right now, the spot I'm going over, there's like a plateau that's non-treed. It's yeah. relatively flat. If we have to, we'll just uh, might put it down there and do a, do a proper bush landing in a bonanza. There you go. Soft field landing. Ask him to Better practice uh, your soft fields while we're here. Not quite fill the the tire away. <laughs> yeah. So soft field landing. Going full flaps. Working <laughs> as slow as you can. And then keep the nose up off the ground. Go land with a high angle of attack and keep the nose off the ground for as long as you can. There you go. All right, sir. Done. It's that easy. Hey, did you, uh, did you uh, order a yoke off one of these eBay uh, Yahoo's yet? No, it's gonna it's gonna be two. It's gonna be a month before I get my graphics card. So it'd be another few months before. I... 111 miles. I got. There's like I'm trying to think of the, the hard the hardware and software. Okay, the graphics card. That's next. After that, yeah, I, I do want to get yoke and pedals. Um, I kind of want to get this. There's a driving frame. For my wheel like pedals. Seat? Well, it's it's not. I don't remember if it's a seat or if it's just the rack. I think it's just a frame for the. Because I got I got the G920, which is really it's actually really nice. What's wheel. that? A Logitech thing? Yeah. Steering it's, wheel. Yeah. So it's got like a full leather kind of a grip to it. It you know, yeah. It feels like a car steering wheel. It's got the the base pedals have three. I have three pedals, gas, brake, and clutch. Yeah. So I can actually, you know, shift. And then I got the gear shifter as well. So uh, this, when I do like the truck thing, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually using all of my limbs to play. You know, both legs, yeah. both arms. Is that, you use that for the truck game, you said? Yeah. And the problem is, like, the, so the brake has, the, the clutch and the gas feel nice. and You know, it's just a spring. You can go all the way down. The brake yeah. has like a rubber, a rubber piece in it that that is a kind of a firm stop. So you really, if you want to, you know, it's like you simulate brakes when you push. It's kind of firm. Yeah. So sometimes you'll slam on the brake, go to that, and end up pushing the whole thing away from you. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, so this, there's like a a brace that you buy that, that you clamp the steering wheel to it, and then the and the pedals on the bottom and it's even got like a little side ledge for the shifter right so I thought like in my new space I was gonna have monitors one is like my 27 inch monitor for flights in where over there I'd have like my you know my quadrant and my you know, all that stuff and on the other one my 43 inch TV under that I would have the steering wheel so I wouldn't have to put any of my peripherals away they'd always be What and size monitor are you using? It's a 27? 27. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I shoot. was using a 27, and this new one I got is a 32 or 33 or something. Ooh. It's awesome. But a lot of these videos, these people with their simulator setups and stuff, uh -huh. it looks like they're using like little 24 inch monitors. Like, what are you doing? I, yeah, I know, yeah. Go big or go home. Like square, too. Not even like landscape, but they're not even like widescreen. They're using like little square monitors from like uh, their Motorola office job from 1989. Yeah, this was actually... What the hell's wrong with you? Here, I'll shoot you. I'll send you a text. What in the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> um, where are you at? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> there you go. Done. Um, I had a different monitor. I think it was 27-inch also, but we bought... We bought my oldest son. I won't say his name anymore. We bought him a... A, a, a computer. Because he, he talked about like animation and stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we get him this computer, but he's lazy, so he doesn't use it. We're like, oh, 
you know, dude, we spent six hundred dollars on this. Look at look at the the land off our left there. It's like ripples. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's got a yeah. It looks it looks kind of realistic, but it's also got a a, a bit of that Minecraft yeah. back to it, right? But yeah, it's like ripples in a in a pond, kind of rolling hills. But anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> um. What was I saying? Oh. Yeah, so he, we got him this nice monitor. And as soon as he's like, well, he's not using this thing, I said, you know, okay, I'll take the monitor. I'll the other one with the computer. But now that other computer is going to go in the studio building. And it's his. He can use it there, but we're hooking up the music recording software to it. So I got I got this uh, interface. That's a music interface thing. Uh, so I can put the synthesizer down there and the effects and all that stuff and guitar that we could actually record music. And I told him, I said, yeah, learn how to do it. Because he played viola, he plays some other stuff. I'm like, you could, if you had viola or violin or something, you could make your own music. You could record something, record it over again, record it again, and create your own like string section. All with, right. all with just you, and then play violas as well. I think you could get a viola and pitch it down and play like a cello kind of a part, you know? But yeah. So, it's going to be, yeah, it'll be a full-on studio. It's going to be awesome. When are you hanging drywall in that place? Yeah. You got to do electrical first or something? <laughs> well, I got I to gotta frame it first. Yeah, so I'm... What do you got the framing in there for the, the studs, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're doing like cost, uh, like, um, blocking framing or no, just like you saw, it's just the 2x2s two on the concrete with a 2x6 on the bottom. Uh, I've got a couple more to go to bring it out to each edge. I'm going to have a 2x2 two oh. two on each far edge. And then and then it's just a 2x4 two two frame on the east wall. And also kind of on the, um, on the south wall. It's right by the, what's it called? The... Uh, beam. So yeah. Just inside the beam. So I think I'm putting a two two up as a sort of an anchor at the top and then I'm putting a two by four into that and then hanging the drywall there. So yeah. the most Why challenging you do that right now man you got thirty minutes. Yeah, I know. I yeah so I'll get like two hours here, two hours there and I'll go down and do that stuff. But I mean the hardest part is obviously putting the two by twos into the into the concrete walls you're drilling in a concrete takes a while. I gotta drill for a little while, drill for a while, and then put it down and let it cool. Otherwise yeah. the using like a concrete bit yeah, or something. Yeah, I've snapped two bits a while back and I thought, yeah, you know what, I'm I'm just I'm going too much. I need to cool them a little. <laughs> but then after that, like putting up the one the one wall is like just an eight an eight foot wall. And that'll be that'll be easy. Yeah, then I get the guy in. Well, then, then I spray. <coughs> I'm spray spray painting the, the the joist, the under joist, under that room, like the espresso brown coffee kind of color. So I got to get that. That's gonna splatter all over the place. I have to like you know cover off anything that's anywhere in that room, and I need to work quick. And then I take off like the hazmat suit, and then I call the electrician and then he's going to run the electricity down between the, the studs and then yeah. after he's out then I'm going to put I'm going to you know caulk the the insulation the foam board insulation up to the the, you know, the uh, foundation and the drywall <laughs> and the toughest part's going to be around that that uh, the fuse box because the fuse box comes out a little bit, some of the some of the electrical piping is off the wall a little bit more than a two by four, so the drywall can't rest right up to it. I, I, it's, I'm going to figure that out. It may look a little, it may look a little bit ugly around that, but fun. Look at your MFD now. It's it's just like a green block. 
Yeah, so mine is. Got a little patch of light green here and there, but yeah. Yeah. Terrain is all flat. 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, below, uh, I'm below 90 miles. I'm 85 miles. 85? I'm 87. I'm doing 181 ground. Yep, same me. Okay. Yeah, this terrain is, uh, I guess it's okay looking. It's, it's less, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's not super Minecrafty right now. Right, right. It is pretty flat and generic out here, though. Or not generic, but, you know, pretty, pretty yeah. flat and flat. <laughs> There's some big lakes up off to the left there a little. Yeah, I see that guy. That looks like, uh, man, you got that lake. You come out here for a day of fishing, you got that lake all to yourself. <laughs> yeah, literally. How do you tow your tow your boat up to this lake, though? Right. What if it cut you yourself? You C-130 come drop it in there. Right. Oh, that's kind of some some clouds just yeah. appeared right in front of that lake. Oh, it's funny. That you too? Yeah, they did exactly the same time. Like they came in and you said, "Oh." <laughs> and it takes away from the experience. Right. You think they would like sort of? You think it would check the weather slightly ahead of you? Yeah. You know. Model it in, so it's not like that's kind of cool that it happened at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's a So I was looking down uh, at my, my dash, I wouldn't have noticed. All right, I'm at the yellow on my right tank, so I'm gonna switch tanks. There we are. Yeah, I'm down to 10 gallons, just under 10 gallons to the right, Perfect. 20 in the left. So I'm gonna burn out the left for the rest of this. I'll still land with uh, 10 gallons in each wing, I think. Yeah. That's uh, let's see. In this plane, that'll be about just under an hour, just over an hour. I mean. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're burning 19 gallons an hour, so that'll be an hour. Okay. Well, we don't even have that much. We're we have half an hour. 10 gallons in each tank. Uh, no, I'm just saying a half an hour from we're ETE, 26, yeah, yeah. 27 minutes. So. Yeah, so if we were, if were doing this proper VFR, we would have taken, uh, let's see, daylight, an extra half hour of fuel, so we'll, we will, we're, we're legal VFR. There you go. <laughs> but we might go in these clouds straight ahead of us here. See those suckers? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go into those, and then we're going to have to come down out of them. 77 miles out. We won't even, I mean, there's there's not even a, there's not even any, any ATC to tune into down there. No, no one to talk to. This is literally going to be treated like a bush strip. Yeah. Oh, I see guess, the coastline? See the lake up to our left? Yeah. So those coastlines look geometric. Yeah, they do a little. Straight lines. I'm gonna cancel flight following. Montreal Center, Beechcraft, yeah, Charlie Delta. Cancel flight following. Wait, why, why do we got flight following 2,000 miles Delta north Montreal of? Montreal Center cancellation received. Squawk one two zero zero. Frequency change approved. Squawk VFR. Yeah. Nearest airport list. I want to check this out. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing there. When you go to the nearest airport list, there is nothing. It's my transponder. My transponder, I just squawked VFR and it's not, it did not change. Mm. I guess I'm gonna have to do it manually. What do we got here? We got 32 degrees, it's freezing. Glad it's I got my PO heat on and my cabin heat. Or, I wonder if uh, VFR in Canada is different for, for, yeah, for transponder code. I don't need to order anti in Canada. I don't need to anti ice the engine, do I? No. We're not even in precipitation yet. And we're still, what is it, 34 degrees F? Yeah, we're just above freezing. Yeah. It's freezing up here. <laughs> I know, it's like I'm gonna northern put on, I'm Canada gonna, or something. I'm going to pull my uh, cabin heaters to see what <laughs> Mine's been on for a while. Yeah, I'll heat up the passengers too. Yeah. In case you think you're far, full far. 
fireball here. I just needed the front. Don't worry about no aft. Ooh, panel lights, let's see what these do. Got your aft right here. So, UTC, how many hours back are we? Four. So it's 14. Blood lights, ooh, that's nice. It's 234? That can't be right. We left at 2 o'clock, right? Got a big old bunch of turbulence right there. Yeah, we we left it. Oh, it's maybe it's seven. One, two, three. Yeah, it should be four hours different from the Pacific Coast. So it should be minus four, fourteen thirty-three. It's two thirty-three. Yeah, something's, something's off. We're getting some turbulence. I think I'm going through the same patch that you went through. Yeah, it might. Uh, I see these clouds still straight ahead of me, but I can't tell if they're going to be there when, by the time I get to them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit, like, lower level cloud. We're going right through them. It looks, I'm looking back at you. It looks like clear skies back at where you're at. You're kind of open. It is, right? yeah. I'm in an open spot, but I'm, I'm coming up on them. All right, 66 miles there. 22 Jermaine. minutes. Nobody to talk to. To Custa. <laughs> see, oh, I want to I want to play with some of these GPS modes here and see if this there they got this go. function in. So what? Okay, well I'm gonna, let me tell you what runway we're gonna have if there is in fact a runway here. Okay. It's gonna be runway deleted. <laughs> um. UI. Oh, we got we actually technically there's a couple runways here. One bush strip and one's uh. Paved. So, I say we take either runway seven or two five. That looks like the real one. Okay. Runway seven or two five. Oh, you know what? I could check. I could cheat and check the real weather. Uh oh, it says low IFR right now. <laughs> Three hundred. Oh boy. There is an ILS to this runway, but we can't select this. We can't get it because we can't select this. Yeah. Airport's not selectable. Did you but, try searching nearest airports? Uh, yeah, and it, it didn't. It didn't have anything. Um, I mean, like, how do we find out what the wind, what the winds are going on down there? Okay, look right here. Let me cheat and look at the real thing. Uh, weather is three five zero at seven. So if that's accurate, that would suggest runway three one, which is the bush strip. But I don't think we're. I don't. First of all, I don't think that strip is even going to be there. I don't even think half of the paved one is going to be there. Yeah, it's got so we'll no... Just have to see. Uh, anyway, 7 or 2.5 is what we could hope for. Um, let me play with my CDI here and see if I can get it to do what it should do in real life. see you again. There you are. Now I can see you. Man, oh, right here. Wait, that worked. What'd you do? Okay, I'm setting my, um, oh, whoops. I don't want to do that. Yes. Shit. Didn't mean to do that. Well, you got, you got time. We are 20 minutes out. Okay, let me try this again. So, I set it to suspend. Yes, suspend and runway five or two five. I'm gonna pretend it's five. Okay, this is this is a cool little trick on the real Garmin. You can do this. I, I don't know if it's gonna work on this. So because we're VFR, we're not following any nav aids. Uh -huh. I put my magenta needle on OBS suspend, which means I can dial it into whatever I want. Oh, okay. And I dialed it into runway five two five. And basically, it's drawing a it's drawing a radial off of our destination, which our destination is that 
airport we selected. Uh -huh. It's drawing a radial of my choice off of that. The radial I selected is 525. So it's basically invented a, a fake radial off that, and I can then follow the needle into this fake radial into that airport. I don't, it's, it's not making any sense. We haven't explained it. <laughs> so no, I all, get it's it. It's actually super useful for flying VFR. Look right. at this little chunky cloud straight ahead of me. Uh, yeah. Ray, uh, <laughs> it looks like it's below us, actually. We might be going right through that. Yeah, I just figured I was going to descend. What should we descend to when we get there? Like, uh, let me see what the altitude of this airport is here. I'm cheating all day over here. <laughs> Elevation 131, so pattern altitude, call it uh, 1,100 feet. Okay. Yeah, then I'll just fly over it. And yeah, I'll, I don't, I'll descend and fly over it at like 1,500. Get a lay of the land. And then, uh, but then I don't know how we determine the wind but yeah I don't think there's going to be any determining the wind unless we uh, unless they have a sock <laughs> yeah there's not going to be a sock there because it's not even a real airport according to this game fifty one miles out cool sixteen minutes basically there I'm fifty three miles so we stayed about two miles away from each other this whole time. Yeah. Switch to my external here. Good stuff, man. About 12 more minutes and we'll make our descent, right? Yeah, I think after this stretch, well, maybe I'm wrong. But after this, the, the next legs after this, uh -huh. I think get even more. I, I get even more desolate, barren, wasteland looking because we're still starting to get. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing. They're flying. They're flying over the ocean. We gotta have like yeah. stuff to talk about. Yeah, our, next <laughs> one. Yeah. our next one's going over the Hudson Strait, which I still can't see yet, but I guess it's 48 miles away. Yeah. Ooh, I might go right through the 12 o'clock right here. A little rising. Mm -hmm. Nimbus. Just get a shop. seat. Oh yeah, that is a tiny little... A little dangerous cloud. <laughs> You're going right in it? <laughs> You're going to get all risky. <laughs> 5,000 miles from anywhere. You still there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, can you hear me? It yeah, is, yeah. uh, it is, it is, it's surprisingly flat out here. I was expecting more mountains. Yeah. Yeah, look at the GPS, it's just solid green. Yeah. <laughs> you think it was broke. He's too green. Tapping it. Ding, 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 ding. Come on. <laughs> it is what they call flat. Yes. Right here. How you say. It is, it's cool. These clouds evolve. That's kind of cool. These clouds are breaking up. Yeah. How do they do that? They would like it a lot. We got 15 minutes until arrival. So about 10 more minutes. I'm going to start descending, right? Five minutes out, you think? Yeah, you can probably descend. Uh, descend, uh, get, yeah, just start descending about 15 miles out. Oh, okay. Audible. Yeah. So if you know you got, uh, let's see, let's do the math there. We got um, 6,000 feet to descend, 500 feet per minute. That's um, how many minutes? 12. 12. 12 minutes. And we're 42 miles out, and we're doing 184 miles per hour. Oh, there's some math in there somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's seven minutes out. I'll start my descent. MFD's got a lake coming up here on the left. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. A green, a green looking lake. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of clouds down there. I mean. Yeah, I'm in a cloud right now. I'm going into it. 
I am all gray. It looks a little dark there, like it could be, could be raining in that thing. Cool, these clouds going by like this, it looks real. You get any, any water on your windshield? Nope. I'm in and out of them right now. Mostly out. 32 degrees, it's right at freezing here. Yeah, it does get, does get a little bumpy in the clouds. Okay, still no sign of the Hudson Strait, 38 miles out. Alright, hold on to your lunch, Joe. 40, I got 40 nautical miles out, and I got 13 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully this recording was quality. Otherwise it went right so wait, right now, you know, tw if we wanted to descend 6,000 feet to 500 feet per minute, 12 minutes, that would be descending about right now. Starting okay. to descend right now, right? Is that what you're doing? I'll wait till I get a couple more miles. I'm at 38, so I'll wait till I get to 36, because you're a couple miles ahead of me. Maybe I'll, I'll go 35. Let's see how well this works. You're going 18 inches on your uh, manifold? Yeah. What's that? Right now I'm descending at, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm 18 inches and I'm descending at about 250, 300 feet per minute right now. Okay. What's your RPM? 20, I went back to 2,500. Okay. And I'm kind of in another quad right now. I'm not my <laughs> Yeah, it's been clear this whole way until all of a sudden we got to land at a desolate airport yeah, that well, may or may not be there. Yeah, <laughs> a live weather said low IFR, which is really bad. Uh, it's not just IFR, it's a low IFR. That's, that's, not, not, that's not just you're going to hit a mountain, that's you're really going to hit a mountain. <laughs> you're going to become one with the mountain. <laughs> when I'm seven minutes out, I'm going to do my descent. <coughs> I think the plan for me is to go over and come back. Descending at, I don't know what, feet per minute. Oh, let's see if I can get below this. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get below this if it is, in fact, low IFR up here. I mean, technically not. <coughs> you should be safe if it's It's, down, it's high far down to 300 feet. But I mean, I mean yeah, if you level oh, off at 1500, you should, yeah. Be above it still, you mean? Yeah. Maybe, we'll see. I mean, I don't think there's any elevation problems with the... Oh, you mean, you mean without hitting mountains? Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, the terrain advisor over there in the map does not have anything yellow or red on it. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. All right, 28 miles out. 30. Ten minutes. What's your ground speed? I'm still going 181. Yeah, you might be passing me. I'm only doing 170 right now. I haven't started my descent yet. Yeah. I figure I come down right on top, top of you. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, set down on top of you. All right, I'll tell you how these clouds look down here. I'm going right at them. What's your altitude? 5,800, descending 500 feet per minute. 500, huh? Okay, I might as well get ready to set this up. I'll take my altitude off. Turn my altitude down to 15. Nice stabilized descent going. It's the first time I've ever been able to work that out. 1,500 feet. All this way down. Vertical 
vehicle speed negative 500. Hey man, well we're almost there, dude. We're almost done with this long leg. Yeah. Jeez, the airport's only eight minutes away. Right, making my descent. Boy. Twenty-five hundred. Starting my descent. This layer looks a little low, man. ILS that we can't use. <laughs> it might have like I'm 24 nautical miles out. Where are you? Shoot, I'm 22.7. Turn it, I should put this back. And I haven't really slowed down a whole bunch. Seven minutes. <coughs> there we go. Okay, I'm back on course. I think I see you off my left wing. See you off my off. Yeah. Are you above me? Yeah, you're at my nine thirty. Oh, yeah, I see you out there. I see you. I got a little left of course there. Yeah. As I'd like to do. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect to see you there either. I was just looking out, looking down, and like, wait, there's an aircraft. That has to be you. <laughs> Nobody else out here. Okay, let's see what this layer is going to do down here. We are 20 miles out. I'm going 183 ground speed. <laughs> 71. I haven't really slowed much. See, I see you up there still. Yep. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on you. Yeah, it's funny we got <laughs> air traffic converging <laughs> at this at this extremely desolate remote location. It's really cool though. I mean, I'm like, yeah, I'm coming through certain cloud layers. And it looks like I'm gonna land in these clouds. Yeah, it's pretty realistic. Looking. This is in real life. This is the scary part for me. Always is when you're just a you know above a layer like this, and you're just about to go into them. Yeah. It's like a nice sunny day and then everything goes goes dark and you lose all spatial orientation. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I still see you at the same, my same orientation out there, but I think we're getting, we're coming a little closer. I should probably slow down a little, huh? I'm still going yeah. 180, 186 knots. <laughs> I'm going to pull our, what are you, are you going 170? You go and you go to 18 on your. I'm seven and I'm down to 17 inches now. 2500 RPM. Okay. Okay. Here right, comes I'm the down. At, I'm down at 17 myself now. The ground is definitely getting closer to me. I'm still at the top edge of the layer. Here we go. Going in it. This is where it gets real. <laughs> It's not, it's not scary when you're climbing, because you know you're climbing. Right. But when you're going down, it's like... Yeah. Uh, you're coming ground down there. Closer to ground that you can't see. <laughs> I can see your lights through the clouds, though. Long. Or I did. Now they disappeared. 
That's some thick stuff. Oh, yeah, that ground is close to me. What's your altitude? 2400 right now. So, if there, it still sounds like a good. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's gonna go dark. Yeah, it's like fog. Going off the grid right I mean, now. I wonder if all this stuff just kind of blew in from, uh, from, the, from the sea. Yeah, Hudson you know? Strait there. Yeah. It's a northern wind. We're playing this. 38 degrees, it's come up a little bit. I'm going to turn my pedo heat off. Here we go. I'm grayed out. Strobe Beacon Nav, are you turning your land landing lights on yet or no? Yeah, I, have, I always have my landing lights uh, All the time? <laughs> yep. It's FAA recommended. CNBC. Alright, I got my landing and my taxi. Okay, I got to start looking for this airport because it is three minutes away. And I know this land is low, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm at 1,800, and I'm still in a layer. I mean, I think it would be okay. We'll be able to see the ground, but it is low. I just came in under 4,000. Yeah. What if I need to slow down some more? Okay, You're still at 17? Uh, inches, you mean? Yeah. I'm, now, I'm at 15 now. I'm slow this train down. Yeah, me too. There's the ground. It is right there, and this is, oh dude, serious cloud right <laughs> here. Serious low layer. I don't see you, but I see Adjusting my seat here. I hope I didn't, uh... We might have an issue. With landing? Maybe. Yeah, we might not see the airport. Oh boy. No, maybe we will. Okay, I'm going over a little stretch of river right here. Okay, yeah. there's a thousand feet. Tank off right here. Okay, I'm I'm in a heavy layer of fog, but I can just make it off the ground right now at a thousand feet. All right, I was going over a lake. It looks like. Yeah, it's, for me it's like a, yeah a, wide, a really large river or a lake, whatever it is. Five point six nautical miles, two minutes out. I lost you. Yeah, I'm, all right, I'm looking for this thing. See what we got. This is this is for all the marbles right here. Did we did we just waste our planes and our lives here? Um, Landing yeah. a strip that doesn't exist. <laughs> I think I'm just now coming into the cloud layer. Yeah. I'm sinking into what? it. I am at. Uh, it is low F low IFR. Never mind. Three thousand. So it's like, it's like. Yeah, that's cool. The real weather is actually real. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm about to go over the airport. I'll get it. All right. I see a little island. I don't see anything flat that we can land on. <laughs> oh boy. I'm still sinking. I'm, st I'm still at the top edge of the clouds. And don't sink. Don't sink. About 133 knots indicated. Okay, I am. Shoot, I'm over what should be the airport, I think. Okay. Let's I'm... see. Okay, we've got. It looks just like it did on the map. We've got half of an airport here. Oh boy. <laughs> it looks like it's dual. Uh, yikes. It looks like it's landable. Okay. I mean, half of it's paved and half of it's. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're going to have to make this a short field landing. Okay. <laughs> So come in on, and you're going to have to come in on runway 07. Okay. So plan for runway 07. So it'll be, I'm doing a left, left pattern for runway 7 right now. Okay. So gear down. There. You'll pump For on. 7, There's runway 7 you said? Runway 7, yeah. So it's going to be uh, 25 is going to be. Um... See, now here's where you could use that cool trick if, yeah. uh, if you could, but you can't. See if I can see. Am I where am I at? Two thousand feet. I don't see the runway. Okay, there's one way to do it. Okay, right now I'm technically on a 
I went for runway seven. Okay. And I, so I see it. I see it out there. Okay, so I'm on a perfect downwind for runway seven. Man, it would help you out. It's too hard right now. I'm turning downwind myself. But I'm just I'm just using my indicator. The pattern. I'm going to land this son of a girl. Are, are, you, are you at 1,500 feet? I'm up at, I'm at 900 feet. This is definitely going to, have to be a short field. You're, you'll see it. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be an adventure. I'm going full flaps right now. Uh, I am. Okay, looking out. Flaps are I'm down. I'm going to turn base. Oops. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get in the bricks. I was turning the you wrong. Get in the bricks hard. I was turning the wrong thing here. I was turning my altimeter, but no, I want to go. Zero. You have to get on those brakes hard as soon as you touch them. Did you do it? Nope, I'm, a, I'm coming in final right now. This is going to be fairly doable. Okay, I got to try and get slow. Okay, everything's on. Props. Gas. Yes. Mixture seatbelt. P propeller. What's the... What for the 070. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this in nicely, dude. Alright. Oh, it's a little bumpy on the on final too. Okay. Wait to see what we have to work with here. Oh uh, it might I think you're right too. It might be just a runway drawn on rough terrain, so I don't okay. know what we're getting here. Stall landing. Ooh, I came in kind of rough. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not a real runway, so. Okay. Uh, but I'm down. All right, um, a little bit of a, and I and I even short fielded it. Okay. Very nice. Well, I don't <laughs> see anything. <laughs> hey, if you want to try a trick, if you want to try my my GPS trick, we can talk you through it. But it might be a lot of workload. No, I'm just going to go, I'm just heading towards this, this marker. Okay, I am down, I'm in the grass. All right. Off to the side of the, off to the you side want, of the You want to turn runway. towards the other way and finish the lights? <laughs> oh, I'm pointing right at you, you should see my, uh, landing lights pointing right at you. Holy cow, holy crap. Did you see the runway? No. It's like a, it's, it's a big gray, it's kind of a gray blob cut out, you know, so look for a big gray area. Okay. Uh, oh, so you actually, well, are you following your GPS to the waypoint? Where yeah. You put it? Yeah. Okay, so that'll at least get you to it. Well, ish. I never saw it from where I was. Uh, oh, you went over it already once? Yeah, and I never saw it. So I'm just heading uh, towards okay. this. Head back to the waypoint. Do you then, see me? You'll find, I see you. Well, I see your tag. Is this, am I lined up? Can't tell. You're, you're like a small it looks like a runway. It looks like a runway. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Do you see here? I can flash my landing light if that helps. No, I'm, I'm all right. That's a runway. You see me? Well, it's it's a runway painted on on terrain. Okay. Yep. I think you got the right place, right? Yeah. Got the power. Full flaps. Okay. Full flaps. 
flap stall. There it is. Woo! Hey, Holy. it looks like you st nice short field too. You stopped it plenty of time. <laughs> Thanks. Cal, I gotta check my gear though. See if I broke anything. <laughs> hey, not bad for a for a not real pilot. <laughs> Here, draw again a little bit there. Holy cats. Jeez, how would we take off from here? <laughs> uh, well, we'll check. Oh, we won't be able to check the wind, but um, yeah. well, you'll be able I to think check we can go. Yeah, it's going to be a soft field takeoff there. <laughs> Hopefully we've got enough. We've got enough. Get out of here. Well, I felt much better having uh, having actually stuck the landing. So I didn't know what was going to happen there. Turn it off. I killed my engine and it didn't end my thing. Well, because it doesn't think you're at an airport, right? Oh. That's probably why. Yeah. So if I go external. Wait, snap. Oops, I never put my I never put my flaps back up. I was so impressed with the fact that There's Matt killing his engine. Hey, I'm looking at my gear right now from this external camera. I don't see problems with my nose gear. There's just gravel. I'm looking at the gravel. Yep, gear looks good. You hear the birds and stuff? Let me go yeah, external. It's awesome. It's awesome. We're we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Who? <laughs> there is no refueling out here. <laughs> well, yeah, we called ahead. So this is, remember, this thing's this thing's sponsored by uh, Mike by Xbox. So they flew uh, a couple cans of fuel out here a jeep yeah, there's, with the, there's a the guy who's buying your plane know he's gonna get it with like a bunch of uh <laughs> grass stains and mud in the in the wheel wells and stuff hopefully <laughs> maybe some broken landing gear <clears throat> oh that's funny this is yeah okay. look, this is look at this this is camping out here right now there's nothing else to do yeah and it you is, brought your 75 dollar 75 pound tent it's foggy i mean look back the way we came we actually landed yep in this soup yeah we don't even have a published airport here we just saw a shape i saw a clearing in the trees and then i saw symmetrical lines <laughs> <laughs> and i just dropped on it all right thanks for watching hopefully that worked out well i'll have to check